Hello and welcome to this quick overview of CMOLD. CMOLD stands for Certified Membership of the Association for Learning Technology. CMOLD is a portfolio-based accreditation scheme developed by the Association to enable people whose work involves learning technology to have their experience and capabilities certified by peers and also to demonstrate that they're taking a committed and serious approach to their professional development. Established nearly 10 years ago, the CMOLD framework is used across education sectors in the UK and internationally to provide recognition for skills, experience and professional development in learning technology. There are a number of key principles and values that inform the scheme. These are a commitment to exploring and understanding the interplay between technology and learning, a commitment to keep up to date with new technologies, an empathy with and willingness to learn from colleagues from different backgrounds and specialisms, and finally, a commitment to communicate and disseminate effective practice. These principles and values need to be demonstrated throughout the CMOLD accreditation process. Now you might wonder who CMOLD is suitable for, and this slide explains which professional roles might be suitable for accreditation via CMOLD. We have a range of successful candidates with leadership, academic or technical roles. The CMOLD framework includes four areas that remain constant. Operational issues, teaching, learning and assessment, the wider context, and communication. If you're interested to find out what the core areas contain and examples of them, please refer to the CMOLD prospectus. You do not have to have a teaching role with learners or students in order to do CMOLD. We also consider professional development, learning with colleagues, providing staff support and similar activities that include collaborative working. CMOLD also encourages you to select one or more specialist area to deflect diverse roles. Those could be to do with policy, research, administration, tech development or leadership. The CMOLD prospectus lists an indicative list of specialist areas, but should you decide to register for the scheme, you'll be able to select your own. We've designed the CMOLD framework to be independent, but it can be mapped to other competency frameworks, including the UK Professional Standards Framework, QTLS for teaching in FE and skills, a number of courses such as Blended Learning Essentials and the Open Course in Technology Enhanced Learning, OCTEL, and CMOLD also operates internationally with, for example, a sister scheme in CMOLD Australasia. This is a short overview of what the CMOLD process looks like. As I mentioned before, it is a peer-based model. Step one is the registration, where you will be provided with information and support for compiling a portfolio. Step two, submission. That means you submit a portfolio, which is then assessed by two peer assessors. Step three is the accreditation. Here you will receive feedback and an assessment outcome. Should your portfolio not pass the first time, you'll be given specific feedback from the assessors. Step four is continuous professional development. Your portfolio will require a light touch review every three years to reflect the changes in best practice and professional development with learning technology. And you will then in turn be able to act as a peer assessor for future portfolios. Currently, the registration fee per candidate is usually £150 and there are a number of initiatives and offers for groups available. Please refer for the CMOLD website for more information. One year after initial accreditation, first time the annual membership fee will also fall due. Currently, that is £79. Again, for current fees, please refer for the female, to the CMOLD webpage. Now, if you're curious what a CMOLD portfolio looks like, 
Here are a few indicative examples. Firstly, you can choose your own format. So that might be an ePortfolio system, a blog, a document or a website. We provide examples of portfolios from successful candidates from different job roles and sectors. Each portfolio has to include the required structure, including all the core areas and at least one specialist area. More information about how to build a CMOLD portfolio is available on the CMOLD webpage. Thank you for watching the short video.